Hey guys, welcome to Atari 37, Dan reviewing this, which is the Justice League DC Comics Multiverse Cyborg figure. So I was really blessed I picked this up today along with the Steppenwolf Wave at Ollie's for $10, which is a pretty good deal. I remember last year's my Walmart put this figure on clearance, and it was just one I didn't pick up. I was kind of off put by the whole idea of the Collect and Connect mutter boxes. I thought that was actually a little weird, um, but I picked up the Seven Wolf Wave, and I thought I'd get him just to kind of complete it. So yeah, I'm gonna review him first because I technically reviewed Batman last year, so I just kind of want to be in order even though it's a year apart. And, you know, I mean, with Multiverse and Mattel ending this year, it kind of seems like a good time to just go back and review that stuff. But we have a picture of Cyborg here. We have DC, Justice League Cyborg, and then Mutter Boxes, and then we have the Justice League logo, DC Multiverse, and uh, we got some, you know, regular stuff on the side. We got the artwork, the bio, and we have a look at the other characters in this wave. And let's open this up. So here we have Cyborg. I don't believe this design for him actually appeared in the movie. I remember seeing it in the trailers, and I actually thought it was cool, but unfortunately I don't believe it made it into the film. But he's got his red eye here. He has these two little red dots, a mask that completely covers his head. He's got some silver there and silver on the back. I haven't reviewed the other Cyborg yet. I will in a couple days. So when I do, I'll show a comparison. But I believe this actually is two separate molds, so that's pretty nice. Uh, he's got some red at the top here, and then he's got some red that comes down. You can see the sides there. And I like how you can kind of see a little bit the dark red mixing in with the silver. I do like it. I think it looks good. It's very silver and very gunmetal gray. It looks good. I also believe this hand is removable. I'm not completely sure, but I think you can take this off and put on the cannon arm that comes with the other cyborg. I'll try to show that if I do review that other one. But it's got the circles, and it's got the indents, and it's got the hands, and they all look really good. I love these little lines here. It actually reminds me a lot of the Ultron Build-A-Figure because of its color scheme. And that's probably why they cut this mask, because it probably would have been too similar to Ultron. But I definitely thought it looked cool in the movie, or at least the trailers for the movie, my bad. Uh, but I like the lines, too, on the back here. They look really, really good. I like how they molded this. It looks nice. And then he's got the elbows, and then he's got his legs, which also have those little indents and designs. Very machine-looking very cyborg like very very cool and then I like how the feet look too with the toes so pretty good in terms of articulation you got a 360 at the head you can look up and down you have a 360 at the arms swing out the shoulder you have 360 at the elbow or kind of like a, there you have bendability at the elbow and you have 360 at the wrist you have 360 at the torso the legs come forwards backwards and outwards you have 360 at the thigh Bendability at the knee and the feet do move. I believe they move up and down. They're a little stiff though. Here's a comparison with Cyborg with the Justice League Batman. This was a Walmart exclusive sub series uh, for the Mutter Boxes, and I'm gonna build those really quickly and show them to you complete. So it's been a while, so I don't really remember which Mutter Boxes were supposed to be from which part. I believe this is the Atlantean Mutter Box, but nonetheless, it looks really cool. I like how it kind of has like a dirt look to it, and it's got some silver, almost like a starfish looking thing there. I really don't know if I like the idea of this series. You have to buy both figures. To to complete the mutter boxes i mean that's a little weird i would just rather one come with like each bigger and maybe have an additional one and uh how they separate is well they're actually pretty stiff together now um but you just put them together they're two solid pieces but that's that one it's a pretty good scale it's pretty big too compared to those as you can see and then i want to say this is the human mutter box but i'm not completely sure about this i might be wrong uh, but it's got some nice little indits it's got these little circles and lines and it actually kind of reminds me of the moment a little bit from uh doctor who but very cool and this one separates a lot easier but basically you just put them together so that's cool and uh you can see they they do have a nice shape they are in scale with each other and then lastly we have this one which i believe is the amazonian box but again i could be wrong i'm probably wrong about this because it's been a while since i watched justice league and i really do like it i like the gold paint over here i like the gold on the sides of it and it's pretty cool it's consistent i do like that i think it looks really nice i'm gonna be honest i just like kind of how it goes on the sides and then up at the top here i do like that they kept that so overall i think this is pretty cool um you know, very neat action figures. Um, I like the idea of the little subline. Again, I kind of wish that they had made them collecting connects. I know when I saw, uh, when I actually picked up Batman last year, it kind of disappointed me a little bit that they had separate them, and that's part of the reason why I didn't buy Cyborg, because 
Yeah, I just felt it was weird, and I'm not going to lie. I guess it was a good way to get people to buy both, but it just kind of seemed like you were forcing people to buy both if you wanted them to collect the mutter boxes. So that's something I didn't really like about this wave originally, nonetheless. But I do think it's cool, and I think it's neat to have them collected. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.